Hi, my name's Mariah. I love villages. I absolutely love the people there. I love the culture of the villages. I love the overall atmosphere. We are at a village and we are meeting the chief's wife and just hanging out and having bananas and sugar cane and chatting with these lovely people like him. Believe it or not, but he's excited. And so villages really get me going of like, just being passionate because I feel as if those are the people that feel oppressed the most, especially financially. They know that they're poor, but they are so rich in spirit. Gosh, do they know that they're loved. Bananas! Throw one, throw one of these. <laughs> yeah. Bananas, this is Matochi. 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 Malai, what is Matochi? Matochi. Matochi. She's your grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Two months. Oh, baby. Baby. <laughs> She's getting better at English. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a red banana. Mariah, thoughts? Mm -hmm. It's a banana, man. Like, I'm happy. Yeah, banana. <laughs> Malawi has been really unique, I feel like. At the beginning of the month, it was a challenge. Uh, hated it. Hated being in Malawi. I think cultural differences have been astronomical in my mind the way that i've been treated the way that men treat females has just been not so awesome a lot of people that don't know god yeah and then what? Oh, <laughs> it's like my dream it's gone bananas sugar cane and babies i think <laughs> happy Kogan and i have this this interesting relationship. Hello, my name is Happy Coconut. I'm from Karpe. I love Malawi. He'll sit down to play bow or we'll grab a pop, soda, whatever you want to call it, and, and we'll just talk. Like, over the last course of the week, it's been very much so like, He'll talk about his life and then he'll throw in like, oh, but I have this on sale. Do you want to see my art or my <laughs> postcards or my paintings? And I was like, you can show them to me, but I don't know that I'll buy them. And then we get conversations flowing about like what art mediums he uses, but I try to be as relational as possible. So usually it's over a game of bow. Um, and we just, we hang out, we chat. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> and he talks so well about his grandma. Like he loves her so deeply, so much. And it's like, where does that come from? Because most, I, I don't hear many Malawi men talk very well about women in Malawi. Caleb, what you doing? I don't think I'm doing this right. What are you trying to do? Get this, get this husk off, skin off, the hard stuff. Oh. Like this. Whoa. Go Nano, go! Happy Coconut's grandma is like, not that she's a typical person of like on fire for the Lord and like captivated by that, but like she knows that she is this strong, independent woman that loves her family deeply and she wouldn't say she wears the pants, but she wears the pants. So if I were to be in your home, what would I need to do in the family as a woman? I was saying we will teach you all the things, what do you do? Mm. Yeah. You know how to farm, <laughs> to no. blow out to blow things. No, I'm a dreamer. Not pass a dreamer. He's saying that you can you hold the old thing. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how to pound cassava? <laughs> He's saying, do you know how to cut it without holding? No. <laughs> Especially being the chief's wife, like, there's so much more to her role than what she portrays, you know? And so the love that she carries for her family, she's got 21 grandkids and she legitimately feeds all of them. Like cassava uh, sema is like a huge thing that they do in Malawi. And for her to make this huge pot of cassava sema, I'm like, woman, you've been working for days. <laughs> and it's just because 
that's what she feels she has to do. Gender roles, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, you can try. I would say like, the thing that surprised me the most is their take on women's roles. So the men are head of household, yes? I did it until I didn't make a zero one or 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 one. He's saying the men are king. But women do most of the work, yeah? When I didn't mind because if I didn't make a zero one or one or one or one or one or one or one. He's saying like girls that are not really more important to the men. <laughs> I got to Malawi and people were saying like they, that men treat women as dogs, not as people, and I was in disbelief. And then coming from the chief's wife, like that's exactly how she feels. Like she doesn't feel as if she's not a person, but she has definitely said that men are here and women are here. Men are more important than women. According to the culture, the women, they have to work hard more than the men. Yeah, but women do absolutely everything. They're, men will not, will not, are not allowed in the kitchen. They cannot cook. Can you tell your husband to wash clothes? <laughs> what about farming? No, women's job. I'm like, that surprised me so much that she has so much love for herself, so much love for her community around her, but she doesn't view herself as important enough to have her life partner. And they've been married for, since they've been 14, and she's 73, so almost 60 years, yeah. And she doesn't ask him for help at all, especially in those ways. And that surprises the heck out of me. <laughs> Goodbye, go go. Bye. I think I learned the most. This sounds interesting, but I think what I learned the most is that women are a vital role to Malawi culture. Like men can't stand on their own. They need women in order to help them out. And the love that comes from a woman onto a man is what makes the family dynamic. Like the support that she gives, like she does a crap ton of stuff. A lot of things, but overall, like if she didn't support him in the things that he's doing also, the family unit wouldn't really exist. Thank you, Happy Coconut. It was a pleasure. Yeah, I'll see you later. Cool, cool. So good, thank you. See ya. Nice one. Good. See you later. <laughs> Thank you.